Yes, you got it right. Another ESP8266 video. In this video, I list the most common ESP8266 modules and assorted devices and boards. This is the regular ESP8266 version 2, but only a few pins. This is the ESP8266 version 12, access to all the pins, plus ADC of course. Very hard to work with this board, unless you've got an adapter for it. This is the adapter that you can solder the ESP8266 on it. And I think the best ESP8266 module quite a larger one but you got all the pins in a regular spacing and you can add an external antenna the wire antenna comes with it you can also use a better external antenna like the one showing next this increases the range of the device you can also access more stations access points this is the development board the cheapest one costs about uh, five dollars got ESP 12 on it got the light sensor LDR and you can mount on it batteries very cheap next we got the node MCU you can directly connect it to your USB and upload your code directly to it this as well uses the ESP12 and the most complex board I think the best one because I got it for about uh, 14 15 bucks you get the ESP module with it the white one and you got lots of cool sensors and devices on it and this as well can be connected directly to your USB the external antenna doesn't come with it it comes with a wire antenna I think this development mode, development mode is the best that you can get for your money because the module comes with it and it also got a DHT sensor those alone if you buy them separately cost about five six dollars they are sorted by price this is the voltage level converter converts a 5 volt to a 3.3 volt signal and the other way around do remember that the ESP8266 works on 3.3 volts either as the V-in and as the high for the signal I made three channels, separate channels each one gets a 5 volt VCC and a 3.3 volt VCC and the both of the signals to convert. 